When standing here in Brussels, I am in a safe spot. Basically, we, the Palestinian Jordanian people, the Palestinians are the chosen people of the European Parliament. People in the European Parliament love the Palestinians. They care for them. They dream about us in their sleep. How beautiful. They care about how we are oppressed by the evil Zionist Israelis, while, in fact, those evil Zionist Israelis are the ones giving us jobs. They are the ones giving us jobs when Lebanon bans us from all forms of jobs. When the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, which occupied 78% of our homeland, prevents us from all kinds of jobs, the King of Jordan could come and present here and talk about peace and human rights, while Israeli politicians could get arrested for arriving at your airports. At the same time, we see not a single European member of parliament, not a single European politician speaking about the oppression of the Palestinians at the hands of the Hashemite Kingdom or the Palestinian authorities. On the other hand, your money, your tax, euros are financing the Palestinian police force, which oppresses us, tortures us, and puts us in disappearance. This happens while you guys are obviously caring for us in good intentions, but your judgment is very cloudy. Unfortunately, most of you are seeking to destroy the very and only source of income and stability that we have, which is the Israel, Israeli Jewish state. That state offers, has offered us every hope there is in the last 70 years. We disagree with Israel on different issues. We have made several issues with Israel. Israel is not an angel, nor was Belgium an angel in Africa, nor was the United States an angel in Vietnam, nor was Jordan an angel as of today. You have to be fair and square to achieve justice. Justice is collective. You can't grant us justice by denying justice to our Jewish neighbors. They are our neighbors. Half a million Palestinians every single day cross the borders to work in Israeli settlements, in Israeli homes, in Israeli hospitals. They work there, achieving European standard payments versus the non-payments of the Palestinian Authority. Oslo has brought us all, everything that's evil, everything but happiness, and nothing but despair and disasters. At the same time, I can't see that the European Parliament, nor the European governments, understand that they are an accomplice, knowingly or unknowingly, to our disastrous situation by being against the only source of hope that we have. You need to know that I am a textbook Palestinian Jordanian. I have relatives who are in jail for terrorist charges. I have relatives in the Palestinian Authority. I have relatives who are in Hamas. I have relatives who are in the Palestinian intelligence, in the very senior racking job, and I, the family, yes, their family has had martyrs who died killing Israelis, and we have also martyrs who were killed by Hamas for being too liberal. That said, my, I am the son of two Palestinian refugees who had to immigrate under threats and the promise from the Jordanian army that all you have to do is leave your hometown and in two hours we're going to clear out the Jews and send you back. It's been 70 years. That said, why are you denying me and my people the right to live normally, the right to find jobs by supporting BDS? BDS means no jobs for us, no jobs for Israelis. And when the Israelis move out and the companies move out, do you sign our paychecks when we run out of jobs? No, you don't. And let me tell you something. The only people you sign paychecks to are the Palestinian Authority corrupts and criminals, Abbas and others. You need to know you are singing a very old tune. Most of you, I understand most of you are good people, but you are playing an old video. This game is over. Oslo is dead. Thank you. And may this be an offer on my behalf from the Jordanian Opposition Coalition, Jordan's shadow government, the shadow government of 78% of historical Palestine. 
We are telling you it's time to accept change and it's time to embrace our Jewish friends, neighbors, brothers and sisters. We are going that way. Most Palestinians cannot say publicly what I'm saying here. We want peace with Israel. We have had enough of this mythical lie of the conflict. And today, look at this example of the Chamber of Commerce of Judea and Samaria. How many Palestinians have found work through that very Chamber of Commerce and will find work through it? Why would you stand against people who want to do good? They've mentioned the word Palestinians in their manifest and in their videos much more, 10 times more than they mentioned the word Israeli. Standing against them is standing against us. Our interest is Israel's interest. We will only thrive when Israel does, and Israel will only thrive when we do. And this should serve as a last call for the European establishment, which I still insist is good intended. Either you stand with us, either you support peace and drop the terrorist, Islamist, radical, anti-Semitic regimes like the Palestinian Authority, like the Hashemite Kingdom of an unelected, undemocratic, tyrannical regimes, unless you drop them, you will be ousted soon from the entire game. It's either that you accept change or you simply stay out of it. You have been very destructive to my people without knowing it. You have been supporting our oppressors Morghini, the European Parliament Union's foreign minister, would have, she's a personal friend of both Abbas and Jordan's king. Will she talk to a real representative of the people like myself? No, she wouldn't. This has been very destructive to us. Enough with the pain that we have suffered, both of us. Enough. And I'm asking you, let my people go. Let both our people go, the Palestinians and Israelis. Let us go. Thank you. Thank you.